everybody i am naufal welcome to my channel today we are going to discuss regarding rheumatic fever so what is mean by rheumatic fever rheumatic fever it is mainly a pediatric condition that is affecting the children so what is mean by rheumatic fever rheumatic fever means it is a inflammatory disease mainly affecting heart skin joints and central nervous system rheumatic fever is a inflammatory disease that is mainly affecting heart skin joints and central nervous system so the causative organism of rheumatic fever is very very important for your exam that is group a beta hemolytic streptococcus group a beta hemolytic streptococcus is the causative organism of rheumatic fever so before occurring the rheumatic fever there will be a history of throat infection before 2 to 3 week before 2 to 3 week there will be a history of throat infection so while collecting the history from the rheumatic fever case what history you have to collect that is very important for your exam you have to collect the history of previous throat infection that is 2 to 3 week before whether you have throat infection you have to collect the history that is very important for your exam before rheumatic fever definitely there will be a throat infection 2 to 3 week before if it is not treated properly it is leading to rheumatic fever throat infection with group a beta hemolytic streptococcus if it is not treated properly it is leading to rheumatic fever so always there will be a throat infection history will be there for the rheumatic fever patient 2 to 3 week before now to diagnose rheumatic fever in 1944 mr johns has made a criteria mr johns has made a criteria that criteria is known as johns criteria so in this criteria major criteria is there and minor criteria is there major criteria is there and minor criteria is there we can see one by one major criteria first one is carditis carditis means inflammation of all layers of the heart that is carditis next one is arthritis arthritis means inflammation of the joints next one is erythma marginatum erythma marginatum is a skin disorder in this disorder we can see red color lesions it is a skin disease we can see red color lesions in the body that is erythma marginatum next one is subcutaneous nodules subcutaneous nodules means lesions under the skin especially this lesions under the skin we can see in the joints due to this lesions we can see small swelling under the in, in the joint at the part of the joint you can see small swelling subcutaneous nodules means lesions under the skin due to this lesions under the skin mainly in the joints we can see small swellings that is subcutaneous nodules next one is chorea so what is mean by chorea chorea means involuntary body movements these are the major criteria carditis arthritis erythma marginatum subcutaneous nodules chorea now regarding the minor criteria fever increased wbc increased esr increased crp ECG changes in ECG changes PR wave will be prolonged PR wave will be prolonged prolonged PR wave we can see and arthralgia that means joint pain we can see in minor criteria so these are the minor criteria and this is the major criteria now how to diagnose the rheumatic fever means previous history of throat infection 2 to 3 week before previous history of throat infection plus two major criteria is present among this any two major criteria is present with previous history of throat infection we can confirm it is rheumatic fever first of all previous history of throat infection 2 to 3 week before plus major criteria any two it is present we can confirm it is rheumatic fever or previous history of throat infection 2 to 3 week before plus one major criteria is present 
and two minor criteria is present also we can confirm it is rheumatic fever previous history of throat infection plus one major criteria and two minor criteria present also we can confirm it is rheumatic fever or previous history of throat infection plus two major criteria two way we can confirm previous history of throat infection two to three week before plus two major criteria we can confirm or we can confirm like this previous history of throat infection plus one major criteria and two minor criteria is present that time also we can confirm it is rheumatic fever now regarding the management is with penicillin very very important for your exam management of rheumatic fever is with penicillin that's all regarding rheumatic fever we will meet soon with another video till that time thank you and goodbye